Alright, so this is Mr. Capcom coming to you guys, giving you a uh, review of the HCM Bandai Pro um, Aerial and GN Archer. And I have to say, the kit is really, really detailed. Um, it comes with two stands right here. Does not include Harahai, but if it did, this would be definitely worth the 50 bucks. But I actually went on eBay and I won this for $20.50. I was going to buy it for my son, but um, it's kind of been sitting <laughs> on the stands up on my uh, collection up there. Um, it's been sitting up there for a while, so he plays with it on and off, but he likes to look at it too. So great kid. I definitely would not buy it for 50 bucks because I, I went to go to the store more and I believe it was um it's like 45 something I don't know what price it was but I know it was, it was it was way too much I'm actually gonna go there right now and um you know what I don't have my keyboard handy so I had to push it back um but let's take a look at the actual kit let me take off Archer first. A little bit of a problem to take off. There you go. Alright, so we got Archer. Now, keep in mind, these are 1x200, so they're kind of small. Um, I will say, I didn't like the way the nubs were on here. Like, I don't, I have a regular, like, clipper, regular wire clipper, and I didn't like the fact that the nubs were real hard to take off. I know it's a different type of wire cutter that I would need to get, and um, I'll probably buy that sometime today, maybe. But, um, alright, so long story short, I didn't like the way the nubs were. Some pieces didn't fit together unless you snipped them right or filed them down. Um, but here's Gene Archer in the mobile armor, mar ah, sorry, mobile armor mode, flying through. Uh, it's really detailed. I know my camera sucks horribly and looks kind of blurry from even what I'm looking at. But you can see it has a clear green for the cockpit area. Um, that actually, let me just sit that there. That actually comes off. Let me pull this off. And then you can actually see her. She's holding the two beam rifles right here. And you see her face. Now, you can move the side engines back and forth back and forth like that which is kinda cool um, I never had the 1x144 one, one, one so I don't know how that works with that one um, details really good you cannot transform her she stays like this she's like permanently in like doggy style mode or whatever you want to call it <laughs> but it's real nice um, for the price it's really really good that's what she looks like She's like permanently stuck like this. Put on the side. Uh, let me go ahead and everything snaps on. See these two little pieces right here? Snaps onto her back. Like that. And then the engines snap on the back. Like that. And that's how you turn the mobile arm remote. So I'm gonna stick her back on the case. You have to look at my knuckles for a minute. And then we're going to get to Ariel's, which, in my opinion, was really nice. He comes pre-assembled. That's another thing. You have to assemble this um, GN Archer, which was kind of um, weird. I thought I didn't know that HMC, HCM Pros were some of them were disassembled, but you had to assemble it. But Ariel's came together by himself. Uh, he's actually in a box. I should. Eh, I got time to look at the box. But just for size comparison, um, this is a 20 inch monitor. I'm actually on the Gundam Eclipse form. Uh, I'm going to advertise a little bit. You got everyone who should come and take a look at the form. It's a really nice form. Um, of course, my camera sucks, so you can't even see what's going on, but it's a really good form. So here's a 20 inch monitor, 20 inch flat panel. And this is how big Aerios is inside of the. Um, mobile armor mode which is pretty cool um... doesn't take that long to transform him I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can transform him back to normal real quick
ba ba da. Okay. Oh, there you go. Snap that there. Bring his feet down. And there you go. Arios. Arios Gundam. Which, by size comparison, is pretty big. He's pretty good. I mean, he's almost the same size. Give me one second to get my strike freedom. Almost the same size as. Almost. Well, he's a little bit taller than the Strike Freedom uh, Gashapon, which is pretty somewhat detailed, but it looks more like rubber. Um, this one's more of a plastic feel. kind of feels like it's the first grade. I never had a first grade, but I would imagine if the first grade was anything like this, um, minus all the, the paint and everything that they put on there, that this will be kind of nice. He does, oh, actually, he does have the uh, Gatling guns inside of here, too. I just have it um, opened it. Let me open it real quick. Yeah, see right there? Whoop. Sideways. There you go. We need to get a tripod or something. Um, Alright, so there's a little machine gun. You can have him on the side. So he can do the little gun mode. He, it's not all that much posability. I will say, if you can, if you really like models this small, um, how did I put this on here? Ah, there you go. If you really like models this small, just just for look, um, I guess it'll be worth it. It came with two lightsabers, um, well not lightsabers, two swords or whatever. Uh, it came with an extra headpiece, I don't know why, of course I can't speak Japanese. Um, and it came with the regular gun, um, give me a sec, let me put them back in mobile armor mode. I try to keep them in mobile armor mode all the time because I, as most of you guys know I had just got my order in for my 1100 aerials so I don't want him stealing the show but it doesn't take that long to transform them it's actually kind of easy and he sits right here on the stand like so uh, hold on. There we go, like that. And you just sit there. You can raise the stand up and down and stuff. So it's pretty good. I'm gonna try to wrap up the review, but it, it's real good. I would say only get it if you can get a real deal on it. Um, even though I did buy it for my son, at uh, twenty dollars you can't really beat it for both Aerials and um, G and Archer and both of the stands. So, I would say go ahead and grab it, but if you get it at full retail price, around $50, it's kind of really not worth it. Um, the paint job is nice. It's real good, and I'm not saying that the kit is terrible, but to me, I, I would rather spend $50 on a Master Grade than spending $50 on a 1x200 kit with two stands. It's really just not worth it. But, get the money. Do what, you, do what you want, but I personally wouldn't do it. But like I said, I got it for twenty dollars. Um, so I'm about to close out. This is going near nine minutes. I just want to say, visit the Gundam Eclipse forum, YouTube Gunpla community. Um, make sure you check out my blog at mrcopcomds.blogspot.com, and hopefully soon I will have um, my review on Avalanche Exia 1100. Soon I'll be building Aerials 1100, SD Destiny, and Gadessa 1x144. Alright, thanks for watching my video. I'll hit y'all up later.